Joe Diamidi, TTRP TV, sitting here on the uh, shoreline of uh, Neuchat Lake uh, Neuchatel again. Uh, and the beautiful festival is the second, the penultimate day of the uh, festival. And the ladies behind me are the uh, wind section of a band called Nothing Concrete. I have an old interview with Nothing Concrete. There's uh, Fergus and Gaia and Antoine, who are not here from the band. Um, but these are the ladies with the, with the wind, the, 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 the reeds. The, 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 the section of the band that brings a different a different layer of music uh, to the band, which is lovely, and it's um, filming is uh, is Glenda, their their sound person, and uh, Gaia plays us down the bass. So so uh, uh, four women and two men in the band who uh, form it, and, and, and a very nice balance, yes. And the three women behind me, uh, Saskia and Angie, have been in the band for how many years now, Angie? I think it's five years or six years, maybe. Six years, yeah, yeah. Six years with the band, and Jane just joined. And uh, how's that going, there, Jane? I was thrown in a little bit at the deep end, but I think I'm settling in okay, and um, <laughs> just trying to keep up. You know, no, it's good. I'm really enjoying it a lot. Right. Jane plays clarinet, and you were classically trained. Classically trained in my youth, and then um, I took quite a long break, time out, um, and then so a whole new direction now. Uh, just getting into the swing of uh, a very different style of music. Um, so very, yeah, really new to me to, to be away from the classical score and notation and testing a little bit of improvisation. And uh, yeah, it's, I feel like I'm at the beginning of a new path uh, of development that just isn't in the classical world at all. Right, well, it's funny, you're the, you're the second classical um, uh, trained uh, musician at the festival, it was the uh, basis, wasn't it, for um, Old Salt. He was classically trained and he said he loves the, the beautiful the improvisation and the ease of you know, this type of music as compared to classical, which is very rigid, I guess. Um, and Saskia, you are, now you're not a trained musician, are you? No, not at all, actually. <laughs> you're a performer. Yes, I normally am a performer, so that's why in the band I try to do a little bit of that side on stage really by doing a puppet in the show i'm not just only playing the music but i'm trying to do a bit more the performance dancing. side the dancing tap dancing and no i'm totally not the trained musician i can't read notes or anything right <laughs> so interesting and angie's also uh, w w not classically is were you, was it classical your saxophone well i was classically trained on the piano and uh, yeah then went into sort of the big band side of things with the saxophone so that was reading but with a bit of improvisation possibility so it was covering two worlds and uh, this is purely you know learning by heart and so it's a, it's again a little bit like Jane but I had that interim period with the big band so yeah. I, I remember actually with Saskia who dragged you in uh, a few years ago you needed dragged me well in. no dragged your sax out of the mothballs of the attic because uh, you needed an accompaniment on something you were doing in Mumbron I think do you remember that it was with uh, with uh, my daughter's piano teacher who wanted. Yeah, she was really her that sort of dragged oh, yeah, both of us both out. Of our sax was out of the mothball, so we can thank her for uh, now us back into the music. Yeah. And now here we are on the back of a three-week tour in Europe. So you just uh, got off a tour in um, Slovenia, and you also did a two-week uh, residential. Would that be called what you did in Etno Wisteria? Uh, well, not really. It was a project that was outside of the band, though. It was like a meeting with all these musicians, uh, forming an orchestra, playing some of the traditional tunes, making new arrangements. It was a really amazing experience, very intense. And I think as a band, it brought us a bit more together, <laughs> say, yeah. Yeah, well, Jane said, thrown in the deep end. I mean, you only joined the band uh, a couple months, is it months? Yeah, so we're talking months ago, and then you just came off, uh, you did a, a, a concert in Italy, and then you did this Slovenia, Two week intensive, 100 musicians from all around Europe and the world, and then came to this uh, festival, which has been quite beautiful. And so, what do you think about this festival, Jane? As you say, quite beautiful. I mean, there's uh, I don't know how many bands we are, but from all over the place, uh, all just sort of circulating around the different areas of town that we're we're busking. Um, so we're getting to share the experience with all these different people. Uh, not all, not all even music. Some more circusy kind of body performance kind of thing but very well organized a beautiful town get to swim in this amazing lake yeah <laughs> so uh, a wonderful experience all around yeah yeah the backdrop has been amazing 
feel very lucky to uh, be able to participate. Yes, for sure. Yeah, you going to say something? No, I think I was just going to add to what Jane was saying. Beautiful, uh, well organized, lovely. Uh, lots of people have met. Everybody yeah. very friendly. Yeah. Beautiful weather. Lake. We couldn't ask for more. Yeah. Well, this is Switzerland, ladies. That's you know, it's <laughs> you know they <laughs> always <laughs> are. It hasn't been like that always. We had some good uh, Spinal Tap moments <laughs> already in those six years we joined the band. So. Yes, yes. I mean, you got you have the incredible busy schedule because you get back from this, and you have another concert when you get back to home in the south of France. But it's been um, the highlight of, of um, the trip. So these last three and a half weeks, nearly, until you get home, is there something that really sticks out in your mind? Okay, so we're at the Buskers Festival, and some of my other people I interviewed explained a bit about the festival. So what's the highlight been for for you on this this, this last three and a half weeks? Tough one. Yeah, you, you've been playing together, but you played also with all these people around Europe. Uh, for me, the 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 experience uh, in Slovenia, the kind of residential sharing of music, just blew my mind. And I ju partly to hear all this music, and for me personally, with my background, just learning very quickly all this stuff by ear, quite complicated stuff and arrangements and things. We stayed in such a beautiful spot. It was really breathtakingly beautiful. Very very hot, so sweaty was a, <laughs> a constant but we played in we played for lots of different um, groups of people for some ukrainian refugees for some elderly people in a uh, residential home we played in a prison which um, was a really amazing experience for some of the First. inmates uh, what else where else did we play um, uh, yeah there were the three beautiful villages uh, didn't see any bears Apparently we were in the thick of an area where there should where there are lots of bears didn't see any but just to say that's slovenia they're talking about yeah, we yeah. were warned about the bears, but yeah, I think for me, possibly, I'd, I'd agree that that was because it was such an intense, and we learnt, I don't know, 14, 15 songs within the first few days. I mean, we were really intensively, and then started performing them almost I mean, within, by day four, I think we were doing a concert. So yeah. it was intense, but um, musically challenging, but... Um, yeah, really interesting. And how was that for you, Saskia? I mean, you know, because again, these ladies have a classical background, and you and you know, you do excellent on your saxophone. But to learn songs like that was it very intense for you? Yeah, I was a bit struggling. Although when I learned the songs, I always learn them by ear because I can't read music. Wow. So it wasn't that wasn't the hardest part. The level of musicians was very high. So I was a little bit, you know, a little bit behind. But just to be part of that was just amazing. When the whole orchestra kicks in and you're in the middle of it. And they all just start, you know, you know, first you got the violins and then the singing and then suddenly everybody's just like, bam, falls in. It's just like, wow, with a hundred people. It's just almost, you know, almost <laughs> brings you to tears, actually. Wow. Yeah. Great, great. Well, nice. I'll see if I could throw some links in maybe to NO Stereo, maybe a, a, something that the orchestra did. That would be great. Yeah. And just a little background, nothing concrete. With, you know, it's become a, it's a performance band. So Saskia said she had puppets, and there's a couple songs. We did a little puppetry. They do some tap dancing. I'll, I'll put a link to uh, one of the latest videos on the back of it in the description of this uh, video, which is, you know, it's, 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 it's fun because it's, uh, it's something different uh, as well. Visual as well as audio. Right, exactly, exactly, and and that's a, I mean a lot of these performers at this festival are, are bringing. It's not like a typical music festival, is it? No, it's a busker's festival, so street performance, you know, includes all sorts of different right. things that you'd find on the street, yeah. And even some of the musicians have really quirky shows. Yeah, I would use the word quirky, and I think I'd be quite. <laughs> think that's fair. Yeah. yeah, quirky sums it up. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. Well, look, I thank you um, for this beautiful, uh, you know, backdrop behind us. Uh, thank you for allowing me to get up to, to see a different part of the world. I, I didn't, I didn't do the whole tour. I came up with the drummer, Antoine, on the just the beginning of this Buskers Festival, and it's been a wonderful experience for me. And it's always great seeing you guys and seeing nothing concrete, you know, evolve over the years that I've been, you know, even before either of you were, were in it when it was just Ferguson Guy and many other people. Uh, hence the name, Nothing Concrete. The band is ever-changing, and who knows what the band will be six months from now, in a year. You know, it's all, it's all fluid, and uh, yeah. as life is. Who knows? Who knows? Well, thank you very much. And Glenda, the sound person behind there, thank you. Joe Dimiti, TTRP TV, saying goodbye from the lakeshore of Neuchâtel, Switzerland. Ciao. <laughs>